Hello and welcome to part 13 of our Johnny Blender 2.0 series. In this section, since we've got our our model pretty well modeled out all the way, including the inside of the mouth and everything, now we need to start working on our texture map. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to do what's called projection painting. And what that is, is we're going to take the photographs that we used as reference images and kind of just overlay them on our model here and kind of use the texture painting to kind of paint them, paint them on there, and, and I'll show you how to do that. So, uh, first thing we need to do is go into our object data panel there, and let's go ahead and rename our, our previous UV texture. We need to leave that there, but let's rename it to full uh, texture. Okay, and let, you know, let's go ahead and save this as 13. Save as, and just hit plus on your keyboard. Boom, pops it to 13, save as. Okay. Now, um, let's go ahead and create a new uh, image for our. Uh, gotta be careful you don't mouse out of your settings here while you're setting one up. Um, Want to make it a little bit bigger, not a whole lot, but 1200 by 1200 should be fine. Um, and let's go ahead and use the UV test grid. Okay, so now if I tab into edit mode here, select all the faces. And we want to apply the new, so it was O2, there we go. And tab out over here. If we go into texture paint, you can see it applies that to there. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And we'll name it, um, I was playing with this earlier, so we'll just name it JB Skin, like there. Save as. Okay. And now I want to start adding the front of the face on there. So we'll work from that photograph of the front section. So. The way we need to do that is we need to set up another UV texture map over here and hit, hit the little plus sign there. And we'll name this one front. Okay. And now let's go into edit mode here. And I want to hide what I'm not going to be looking at. When I'm looking at the front, I don't want the, the back of the head to be visible, nor do I want the teeth inside the head to be visible. So what I'm going to do is get the face select mode. And I'm going to just select over part of the face mesh or uh, the face uh, coordinates there that are in the facial seams there and hit control L and it's going to select all the face okay and I'm going to hit control I and it's going to invert the selection so the everything but the face is selected and I can hit H on my keyboard to hide that so now if we go into front view and I select everything okay and now I want to go U to bring up the UV mapping and I want to project from view and you can see that it brings up uh, it creates a, a UV map that pretty is exactly what we're looking at here it's projected this new UV map UV map from our view project from view okay so now I want to load in the front photograph that we're gonna add and I believe it was this one that we used so go ahead and open that Okay, and now we just go ahead and select it there. And if I tab back out over here, it kind of applies. You can kind of kind of get a general idea of how this is going to work. We'll have to edit the coordinates, of course, but uh, it's going to basically project that onto that front view there. So let's let's set it up a little bit better. Let's tab back into edit mode, and we'll go back over here and select all these guys and let's scale it on the x-axis some and scale it down and then just move it until it starts lining up a little bit better zoom in here Maybe a little bit less on the x-axis there get those eyes lined up as close as we can okay and now it looks like we need to scale it a little taller too now when we're working in this two-dimensional space over here it's xy coordinates so if you want to scale it vertically you scale it on the y-axis like so now in 3D space, the vertical axis is the z-axis. <clears throat> Pardon me. So anyways, uh, so let's just go ahead and go in here. And one thing that kinda, still kind of bugs me to this day um, is when I try to move around in, this, in the UV uh, viewport here, it's a little, it gets a little distracting sometimes because the way you move around in here is if you use just the middle mouse button, it rotates. But to kind of truck back and forth, if you hold down shift, it does that. And so if you're over here and you hold down shift, 
and middle mouse button it doesn't do anything but just middle mouse button by itself does and then you can zoom in and out by scrolling your wheel just as usual okay so let's let's kind of get this lined up a little bit better this is going to be the let's just select everything let's move it down a little bit on the y-axis just a little bit more maybe scale it up just a little bit and there we go maybe a little bit taller on the y-axis okay so now if we zoom in here let's go ahead and turn on the uh, the the uh, proportional editing here go ahead and enable that and then we'll grab this part of the lip and drag it up <clears throat> and then let's get this guy drag him down there and for the most part the lips are pretty well lined up maybe just increase my influence of my tool there okay now let's kinda of get the nose lined up what we're looking at in here is the nostrils so let's too bad we can't just hide that can we yeah just select that and hit H on your keyboard and that'll hide those and then select that whole loop H and select that whole loop H there we go that helps out now we can line our nose up a little bit better here You can spend as much time as you want to getting these, you know, straightened out a little bit better than, than the view. Now, one trick you can use is when you're doing this, you can you can do both sides if you want, or if you if you just want to save some time, you can go ahead and just do half, and then when you get into a GIMP or, or Photoshop later on, you can just copy that half over to the other side and then just kind of blend the two together so that might save you some time if you just do that okay so let's kind of get the eye straightened up the eye area here make that a little bit bigger scale that up rotate it a little bit maybe a little bit bigger on the y-axis okay you know what let's go ahead and do a little bit over here too up a little it's good I did to kind of just try to flatten out the three dimensions as as much as you can Just think of it like a, a globe versus a map kind of a map kind of has the Arctic and Antarctic kind of spread out across the whole top and bottom to where it looks a lot bigger than it actually is because it's basically a flattened sphere and so anyways okay so that's that's pretty good let's do one bit down here on the neck kinda get that lined up a little bit better okay so that'll work so now if we come back over here and we tab out of edit mode and we are still in texture paint view and let's go to full texture up here and you can see it switches back to the to the UV coordinates there or the uh, the original full texture now what we want to do is we want to start combining the front map with the full texture map and the way it, what it's called is we're cloning clone painting this front view over onto the full texture view so when we start mixing and matching different techniques like now we have the front we'll do another one for the side so on and so forth we can start mixing them together on this palette here basically okay so you can kinda see how this is looking here So we, since we realigned some of the edges over there it looks a lot better I'd like to get in and clean the nose up a little bit. Let's do that real quick. See if we can. Does that help out any? 
Uh, not much. Actually made it worse. Okay. Tab M. Let's undo those. Bring these guys up. Okay, there's the nostril. I was looking for it earlier. There we go. Let's just outline the nostril area there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here, why don't we? It's hard to make out which which of these vertices are what. Okay, so we got that pretty well lined up. Now we tab back over here. Tab out there. That's worked out pretty decently. Um, now what you're probably thinking is, how do I go ahead and mix them together? Well, that's that's the clone painting. So we're in texture map over here. Make sure we go back to full texture. Actually, I saw one thing I want to fix real quick. That's the corners of the eye here. So let me do that really quick. Just bring all these guys over some. And now. Come on. Tab out. Oh. <laughs> that made it worse. I'm going the wrong direction when I do these things. So undo those. Grab these. Just move those out. Okay. So we'll call that good enough. Okay. Now, how to how to combine the two together. Select the full texture and now over here when you just scroll down here and let's go ahead and collapse texture we don't need that and right here where it says tool we need to go to clone and then under pro project paint or project paint we undo, uh, maximize or excuse me uh, expand that and we want to project the layer and instead of full texture we want to project the front layer onto the current layer that's selected which is the full texture okay so now if we go up here and change the strength of our brush let's go ahead and make it 100 percent 1.0 and if we just click in here we can go ahead and start painting our front view onto this map and if we load that over here JB skin right there can kind of see it automatically skewing and stretching to fit around the other UV coordinate map. And it's pretty pretty handy. So you don't have to try to do it by hand in Photoshop or GIMP or whatever. You can just paint it on here. And it's kind of funny. <laughs> The model by itself, I don't think, really resembled me that much. But now that I'm starting to put this skin texture map on there, it's really, really starting to look like me. So who knows? Maybe I'll have a nice 3D self when I get done with all this. Now, when you're doing this, let's go ahead and save our scene. But also what you want to make sure you do don't forget this. It's very important. You'll be frustrated if you forget. What you want to make sure you do is saving the scenes, not going to save everything. What you want to make sure you do is save the image that you're working on. So save right there. Image, save. As often as you can remember. Because anything that you do over here, like if I paint this whole cheek area and I hit save and I save the scene, that's perfectly fine. It's going to save the scene exactly as is, but it's not going to save that cheek that I just painted because I haven't saved the image. So just make sure you save that. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the forehead area. Up to the hairline. Don't really need to paint the hair on here unless you just want to because we're going to go back in and, and gimp later and kind of just put a bald cap over over the whole head so our particle hair can act as the 
as the actual hair. So Okay. So this is pretty much it's going to look pretty much the same here as it does if we just go to front. But the beauty of this is we can add to it. So let's go ahead and save that. And now let's go ahead and work on the side. And we go create another UV coordinates and we'll name this left. Okay. And we'll tab into edit mode here. And I guess we'll unhide everything. <clears throat> and this time we just want the left side. So let's go into front view and let's select everything on the right side, like so, and just hit. Let me zoom in a little bit and get these guys here as well, and maybe these guys down here. Okay, and we'll hit H here and hide all that. And then let's uh, go ahead and hide the teeth and everything by selecting all this. Control L, Control I to invert our, invert our selection, and then go ahead and hide that. Okay, so now we have that pretty well set. Let's go ahead and hit 3 on our numpad to go into the side view. And we'll go ahead and... Uh, a to select everything and we'll hit U project from view and it puts it in the screen over here now let's open up the side view open and I believe it was this one that we used open okay now let's look at it over on our screen here I like to tab back out of edit mode over here because that's when it sort of applies it to the model you can load the model in here but unless it's actually applied or you can load the picture in here but unless you actually apply it to the model it wants to go crazy on you so okay so let's move this and scale it up to where it more closely fits the head and another thing you can do like right now this is a very small workspace for me I have a very large monitor so anyways um, we're we're less than half of our area here that we're working in so let's let's make it the full area so we can have a little bit more elbow room and the way you do that is you hit control and then up arrow and it makes it full screen there now I've got a lot more room to work with <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and go in here and try to start lining this up a little bit better don't really need to mess too much in this area because the front of the face is pretty well taken care of but uh, it'll be nice to get a nice transition here and maybe we can make the nose look a little bit better also okay now the main thing on this profile uh, is going to be the ear. So let's get that lined up as close as we can. Increase our fall off there. Let's move it up, line it up. So that's that's pretty decent, about like so. Maybe we'll bring the bottom of it up some. Okay. And I guess the neck will be pretty pretty good like that. Okay. Okay, so that's that's pretty good. Now to get out of full screen uh, view, you just hit Control, down arrow, and there you go. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay, so now we'll do the same thing we did on the front. Just pop up to full texture there, and we want to go back to texture paint. And now you can see. Uh, we have where we painted before and it's all stretched out nicely over here now we go down and instead of front we go left and this is the these are where it's taking the picture from obviously so um, that's you just choose which side you want to paint from and there you go okay so let's go ahead and save our image real quick there we go and we'll just start painting in here and see how it's mixing those two together real nicely. 
And yes, I am aware of this little spot on my cheek. It's been there for years, so don't worry. It's not skin cancer. Knock on wood. Okay. Get down under the chin a little bit. And let's, let's go in here and touch the nose area up just a little. That might be too much right there. Here we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and work on this ear. Let's just paint in there. And it, for the most part, it's pretty well lined up. But uh, we will have to do some cleanup and, and post-production there. Now, there's one problem about projection painting like this is the mesh sort of acts like a stencil to itself. See, right now I'm painting inside the overlap of the ear. That's because when I paint it outside, the mesh blocked the spray can, if you will, the paintbrush, from painting beneath it. So therefore we had sort of a, a stencil effect. So if you clean that as, up as much as you can, but if you can't get everything, then you can kind of clean it up with the clone tool uh, in GIMP or Photoshop. So let's get this as close as we can. Looks like we missed a little bit there on the back of the ear. It's no big deal. But I guess we could fix it. Let's go ahead and grab the left. Tab in edit mode. And let's, let's clean this up a little bit right here. And over here. Okay, so that should help now. Let's go back to full texture. Okay. Oops. Painting the wrong one. Uh oh. Undo. Undo. You're gonna let me undo it? Maybe not. Okay, just go back to full texture. There we go. Now we can paint. Oh, it painted onto our our image here. So easy thing, just go reload and it'll clean that up. So now we can clean that mess up right there. There we go. Wash behind your ears. <laughs> Paint behind your ears, I guess you could say here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and paint on the neck. Okay. <clears throat> go ahead and touch up the hairline up here a little bit, I guess, just to get that on there. Okay. Now, since I just put that on the left side, there's not going to be anything on the right side. I guess we could go ahead and, and work on the right side. Uh, why not? Let's go ahead and add a new UV map, and we'll name this one right. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and uh, tab into edit mode, and let's Alt-H, unhide everything. Let's go into front view. Let's do the opposite that we just did and select the left side. That was a nice clean cut there. Good job, self. <laughs> and now let's select all these. Control L, Control I, and hide. Okay, now let's go Control 3, and that'll put us in the right view. And we'll select everything, and you project from view. And now you'll see it appear in this window. And let's go ahead and open the right side. Did I have a nice clean right side? Yes, I do, right there. Okay, so open that and go ahead and apply it. Which one was it? There we go. And like I said, let's go ahead and tab out of edit mode just so it applies that that image to this UV texture. Now we'll tab back into edit mode and we can go ahead and select this and start lining it up. 
And let's go ahead and control up. <clears throat> Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. <clears throat> Pardon me, my throat's a little dry today. Let's drag this down here. And let's kind of get this ear lined up a little bit better also. Select a few loops in it and then just put it up into place. Okay, that'll work, I think. Okay, so let's control down, arrow, tab out, tab out of edit mode, come on. There we go. That's pretty decent, I guess. And we'll go back to full texture and go ahead and select the right side now. And we'll go ahead and start brushing that in. And you can spend as much time as you want with as many different angles as you as you care for. I mean, you can take, you know, 30 different pictures at 30 different angles of your face so you have a precise image for every angle that you want to paint from. But uh, for the sake of time, I'm just going to do um, one or two more after this. I want to get the under the chin because you can see the whiskers there are really spread out and then maybe the back of the neck and just paint as in there is like I said before just get as much of that as you can okay and go ahead and paint out the neck I guess here my brush a little bit bigger. There we go. Touch the nose area up right there. Okay, that's looking pretty decent. I want to go back to the front. And it's the handy thing about doing this is you can actually leave it on full texture. And I want to go back to front over here from the project, the project, and front, and touch this spot right there. That's the handy part about this. Anything that you kind of goof, you can go right back in and clean it back up. Okay. So let's go ahead and save that image. It's been a little while since I actually make sure you're saving the right one. Tangent, no, no, JB skin. There we go. And image save. Okay. So, like I said, one more, um, possibly two. I would like to go ahead and clean that up too. But uh, let's do one more real quick. Um, and this is going to be about like this. So let's. Uh, unhide everything here and let's rotate our scene if I can uh, I guess there's no way to rotate this way I guess there is if you hold on alt and just left click and drag you can kinda rotate back here because I wanna basically I wanna cut the head about like that and hide there we go now select all this 
And I guess these guys that curve down, we don't need those. Go ahead and hide those as well. And now we'll select these, control L, control I, so we can hide those teeth. Hide. Okay, so now let's go to front view and hit two on your numpad, and that'll kind of incrementally scroll it up. And now if we hit, and let's go ahead and hide these two remaining faces right there. Hide. Okay, now we select that, and we gotta make a new UV map, and we'll say throat. And now we will U, project from view. Okay, and now we're gonna open that other image up, reference, this guy right here. Take it a second to load it in. Actually, I guess it's loaded in. We just got to select it. And which one was it? 39. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and tab out. Just make sure it's applied. Yes. Okay. Tab back in. And now we can start setting it up. And I guess the rest of the face is not going to matter. I just want to get the, basically under the chin and down the throat area here. So let's select all these and just drag them, stretch them out. I like that. I guess this is the mouth, so that needs to be way up here. Okay, so when we're painting with this, we got to make sure we don't go past the jawline there. Actually, you know what we can do? Let's go ahead and hide what we don't want to accidentally paint. So select all that. Actually, let's hit C on our keyboard, and then we just kind of draw over it. And there we go. Now we can hit H. Actually, got to deselect out of the C first, and then hit H. Select these, hide. Okay. So now we can paint up under the chin and get some nice clean texture map there. Okay. So tab out. And that looks pretty decent under there. Now I'll go back to full texture here and load that over here. JP skin. And now we're going to paint from the throat. Okay, and we'll just touch up in here. That's a lot brighter, so one, I'm gonna undo that a couple times, and I'm gonna set the, the, the uh, strength down. Let's put it down about 0.8. And now it'll, it'll draw the texture map back over it the radius a little bigger. But it won't be too blinding. Go ahead and paint down all the way down to the bottom of the neck. Ah, starting to get out of the boundaries there. Okay, and looks like I might need to grab the front view again. Touch up here on the chin. Okay, so that's looking okay. We might need to darken that up a little bit. We'll we'll do that later on in uh, Photoshop or GIMP. And now, last but not least. I want to create one for the back of the neck, and then we'll call this part 13 done, because I'm I'm way past my 20 minutes here. So we'll say back of neck. There we go. And let's go ahead and load that picture in here so I can kind of get a good idea of what angle it's at right there. Okay, open. And that's a pretty decent shot, I guess, about, about like that. Let's... Also turn on perspective view, that'll give us a little bit more control there. Okay, now we're going to tab into edit mode and unhide everything. Pardon me. And let's select 
here, control L and control I and hide those teeth. And now we'll select everything and you project from view, load in the other image, I think it's that one. Yes. And now I'll just apply it. Okay, tab back in and edit. Let's scale it up, scale it on the x-axis, bring it down. Let's bring these guys. And if we get in here, we might can even do some of the back of the ear. May not want to mess with that though. I think we got a good thing going. Might as well not mess it up. Okay, so that'll work. Tab out. Pretty clean setup there across the back of the neck. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so back to full texture and paint from the back of the neck. And let's go ahead and load that JB skin in here. And we'll go ahead and spot paint that. Is it gonna let me? Yeah, there it goes. Looks like Blender's wanting to slow down some. Let me go ahead and save just in case. Let's go in here a little closer and let's go bump that up to all the, let's bump it all the way up to 100 percent And then we'll paint that on. Uh oh. Now I need to grab the side again. Right side. Touch this spot up right here. Okay. Now maybe touch into the neck area a little bit better. Undo that. Let's make our brush bigger and our strength smaller. Let's get a nice gradual transition. Yay, pimples. <laughs> and let's try to touch up that left side just a tad. Oops, too much. Let's go up here a little bit higher. Okay, so go back into orthographic view. So that's a pretty decent looking uh, texture map. It does need a little bit of work still. Clean that line up right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that. And we can come in here and look at it a little closer. So it's not bad. Uh, next. Uh, We'll go into GIMP and, and use the clone brush around the eye here to kind of get that separated out around the mouth so there's not a sharp transition there. And we'll go ahead and kind of get rid of the eyebrows there and then maybe you know go ahead and get rid of the rest of the hair as well so we can give him like a bald cap type of thing. And you know what we will make that easier is if we go ahead and paint the rest of the head so we have a nice visible outline there. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're painting left so that we're good. Let's go ahead and paint all the way up here. Make sure my brush is set to 100%. No, there we go. Okay, now let's grab the... As soon as that finishes, come on. There we go. Go ahead and grab the right side. Paint this up. I guess there's too many images open. It doesn't matter that uh, we've, we've come off of the the actual image area there. We just want to get some some solid color on there so we have like the nice separation, the nice edge there. So we'll know where to put our uh, our little bald cap thing. Okay, almost done. Okay. So we'll say that's good there, and go ahead and save that image again. And you can see now that we painted the hair, we can see exactly where the where the seams end. And that'll give us an idea of where to paint the bald head. Okay, so we got that all good to go.
Uh, let's go ahead and give it a test render just to see what it's going to look like. Um, let's go ahead and apply that texture to our model. Come out of texture mode or texture pane into object mode. And let's go ahead and right here, we've already got a model going, so let's go ahead and name this JB Skin as well. And go to our texture map. So click on one of the empty textures, new, image or movie. And we've already got it loaded in our scene, so we can just click here and go JB Skin. And then we want to map it to the UV coordinates. And everything else should be fine, it's set to the color, which is correct. And we might want to lower our specular level so it's not quite so shiny. And the hardness, lower that down too. Okay, so let's go ahead and save our scene also. And one more time, let's save our image just in case we missed something. And okay, let's go ahead and hit F12 and we'll render this out and see what he's looking like. Okay, that's a little rough, but uh, starting to look pretty good. Maybe we need to... Yeah, that's set. And two. Okay. Um... Oh, one thing that'll help you give a nice, more, a much brighter uh, render. If you select the light and go over to our light settings, and instead of inverse square, which is the default, change it to inverse linear, and you can see it brightens up immediately. So we'll go ahead and save this, and we'll go ahead and render out one more time. Okay, so this, it's, uh, like I said, it's still a little bit rough, but we'll clean it up, and um, when, once we apply the uh, the subsurface scattering, it'll give it a nice fleshy look, and we can also set up some better lights in the scene, too, to help that. So, moving right along, hope you're having as fun a time as I am. So, we'll go ahead and save one more time, and that'll be all of Part 13, and I will see you in Part 14. Thanks for watching.